And now let's check in with KRQ News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez, who has the morning's news headlines. Welcome back, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, good morning, ladies. Good morning to you at home. Yes, we begin this morning talking about Levi Chavez. We have learned that Levi Chavez, who is now a free man, acquitted of murder, may be trying to get his law enforcement certification back. APD fired Chavez and his certification was stripped after he was charged with murdering his wife, Tara. Now, a law enforcement academy board member told us that Chavez has a meeting set for the middle of next month. Even if he is recertified, Chavez's attorney doesn't expect him to actually get another police job. He does tell us he thinks Chavez may end up suing APD for firing him. He is certainly uh, due to be made whole. Uh, I'll talk with him about that. We haven't had that conversation yet, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't go on the offensive. David Cerna, Levi's attorney, didn't say how much money Chavez might go after, but he says Chavez and his family are in a bit of a debt. Albuquerque police are still searching this morning for a 16-year-old boy who they think may have shot a younger relative. The 12-year-old victim was at his grandmother's house near 98th and Tower in southwest Albuquerque, hanging out with some cousins when he was shot in the leg. At this point, police have not said yet if they have tracked down the shooter or the gun. They have, haven't also said if they think it's an accident or not. The aunt's victim rushed the child to a nearby fire station for help. I was in my room, and when I came out, I just, I just seen blood on my nephew's leg. But I took off with him. A uh, substantial wound to the leg. I mean, the aunt was en route with him to the hospital, but felt the need that she needed to drop him off sooner. So that's why they diverted to the fire station. And the victim's aunt says that there were other kids around at the time. No one else was hurt here. The 12 year old victim is expected to be OK. A drunk driver who killed a two year old Albuquerque boy will spend six years in prison. My son was perfect in my eyes, but he was taken from me 10 months ago by a careless man in a speeding truck who is two times the limit drunk. Mariano Salas is the man's name, and he killed my son. Yeah, you see, last August, Mariano Salas crashed into a car that was carrying Vicente Griego on Coors Boulevard near Quail. Little Vicente was in the back seat and suffered a serious brain injury. He was taken off of life support a week later. Yesterday, a judge sentenced Salas to six years in prison for DWI and vehicular homicide. He apologized to the Griego family and said he would start speaking to high school students about the dangers of driving drunk. Well, if you are looking to for a dog to fill your home with happiness, now is the time to take advantage of the dog days of summer. The Albuquerque Animal Welfare Department is offering 75% off of the adoption price for adult dogs that are at least one year. The event is happening today through Saturday at all city shelters. For more details, head to our website, krqe.com. That wraps it up for your Thursday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13, beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, ladies, going to toss it back to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Elizabeth.